and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Zed's Fate. This is going to be an elusive heavy version of Zed Twisted Fate. We're going to be pretty aggressive with these. Plus, I mean, if you think about it, Zed, of course, is a good aggressive champion, but even Twisted Fate has that quick attack, so can attack fairly decently. Um, but yeah, we're going to be checking out like these elusives these days. We got Blade Scout, Cutthroat, Green Glade Duo, Navori Conspirator, lots of uh, lots of elusives, um, and then our top end like Bilgewater has a couple of great elusives. It has Zap Spray Fin that replaces itself. You know, it's the new Shadow Assassin basically, and then even Slippery Wave Rider. Four fours are difficult to deal with, and so it's a four four. Um, with elusive and then that attune it can be nice getting you that extra mana maybe that helps cast will of ionia that as we've talked about how good will of ionia is these days uh let's see we got a couple we got a couple petty officers that can make some extra blockers to help us stay alive also can be a powder keg for make it rain or for twisted fate red card and that's another you know, even though it's three mana that could be a, a good card to pick up with conspirator for an extra one of those. Um, jewel Protector to make our elusives larger, in particular making the one mana elusives larger, like the one or the two mana that you can double spell with. Like on turn six, if you have the attack token, like we could play like Wave Rider on five. On six, we could go Jewel Protector, give the Cutthroat plus three, plus three, and then play Cutthroat. And now we have a four, four Cutthroat that's fearsome and a four, four Wave Rider. And those are really hard elusives to deal with that are attacking in for you know a whole bunch of elusive damage a couple windfair hatchlings for our top end and that's that's our deck it looks pretty exciting looks pretty decent let's go play five games over in ranked and give it a nice test we'll see how we do see if we can um, take advantage of all these decks that don't have very many elusives because there's not many elusives in the format these days Now, what elusives don't like to see are challengers. We'll admit, challengers are usually bigger than the small elusives. So this may be not so good. If they got Fleet Feather Trackers, Mega Rain can do some work. trade here put that down to one health Nature blesses her followers. Uh. that be on one health he'll die to the next make a rain or twist a fade or something hey there. Don't mind the knife. honestly maybe I shouldn't have played that because of the jewel protector yeah I, I guess I shouldn't have played that that was just too tempting to play but I probably should not have Especially now that they have the Fiora. Two worlds, one balance. Um. Hmm. Never lost a fair game. Or played one. All that glitters. Let them eat souls. Oh God. Honor guide me. Easy, Tiger. Cool. That's a good Mega Rain. It's exactly what we hoped happened this turn. So, Fiora gone. I can go gold card again to kill Shen. Or at least trade with a barrier. Mm. Well, 
it kills Shen, and then they just use two mana on single combat to kill Twisted Fate. All right, so we got got a two for one. There's an elusive for a jewel protector. The quiet of the woods. There's nothing like it. Gross. These woods belong to us. That's what I wanted them to do, is this right here. If I'm them, I'm doing it the other way. I feel like Genevieve Elmhart, a 5-4 scout challenger, is better than a 3-3 challenger. I'm I'm definitely going the other way if I'm them. So I like what they did. The fate of mortals and spirits falls to me. Okay, now Will of Ionia will be able to bounce. The wood can't fight back, but I can. Ugh. Let's see. So I could just let this happen next turn and just go for lethal next turn with casting Twin Disciplines aggressively, right? Because this is going to be four, six, eight, nine. I guess this is nine damage right here, even with, with the, so the Twin Disciplines can just be, can just be protection even. can even use Twin Disciplines as the plus zero, plus three, and still have ten damage. So I go. So as long as Make It Rain does one damage. They have to have, like, single combat right now, which they they just played two single combats. It's not very likely they have another one, right? Which I guess I, I could just do this next turn anyway, with to be able to have the Twin Disciplines protection. Yeah, because I would have had the 9 mana, so I could have done both. But yeah, so that's 9 damage. They're at 9. And I have this thing to protect. There we go. The elusive's getting it done. I think that was a big mistake by them of having challenging the 5-4 challenging instead of Fiora challenging. That was a big mistake. Because they would have kept the 5-4 alive. Then they play their other Elm Heart, and then that thing is a 6 power. And so now that 6 power has the scout. It's attacking twice. Like, I'm taking so much damage. Thanks, Drew. Yeah, that was a good game right there. Okay, Twisted Fate Gangplank. This one can be tough. Um... What kind of game do we want to play? Like, I guess I could just keep Cutthroat. Twisted Fate's kind of slow, but it's just such a good card. Never see me 
All right, gonna go with this Blade Scout right away that's attacking for more. This deck, of course, is all about Make It Rain again. So again, it's kind of problematic of going with multiples of these right away. Wave Rider should be pretty good here. That's going to be difficult for them to deal with the Wave Rider. Just as long as we're not too far behind. <laughs> Harvey's just rolling around and having a good time. Closing in on the mark! We're just gonna slow them down. Um, it's basically three mana Will of Ionia right now, because I would I would have just been wasting that mana. And don't really want to play Cutthroat and make make it rain that amazing. This should do a good job of slowing them down. <laughs> no, yeah, that was my dog Harvey. He kinda did sound like a bear, that's true. Keep up, keep up! Go card. We're played one. Hold it, partner. Try again. That's a good will of Ionia. Alright, go get him, Wave Rider. I'm always up for a No. All or nothing. At least mine doesn't die to the gold card like theirs did. Yeah, I just I just like wearing it. I like just like wearing a tie. I like looking professional with this being my job and everything. And I'm I'm comfortable wearing a dress shirt and a tie, and that's just how I like to present myself. Okay, let's see. Just go another slippery wave rider. Yep. And we'll go cutthroat. I've whipped up something special. Mm. Lucky you. I'm the last one to see. Hey. To Tokliora. Thanks, Tokliora. Thanks for the Twitch Farm sub. That was really nice. So yeah, put another, you know, definitely looks like, again, like the Make It Rain as we've been talking about. Put another target here to make it less likely that they hit my Slippery Wave Riders with the Make It Rain. But unfortunately, they hit the Slippery Wave Riders. All right, and that's our first sub of the day. We'll go mark that down. Down to ten. for seven and probably bouncing something with will of ionia i don't want to kill their twisted fate because i don't want them to be able to play another twisted fate red card
done a good job of killing my wave riders. Just gold card, dealt two damage to one, and then make it rain with powder keg, dealt the other two damage to the other one, and two damage to this one. So really just one card killed one wave rider and dealt half the damage to the other. That's super efficient for them. All right, but looks like we are bouncing. Twisted Fate, so they will be able to gold card or red card again. So not ideal. Be nothing left when I'm done. Hmm. Not ideal at all. This is me going to three. Could certainly die. A lot of things kill me. All right, less things kill me now. Nine mana next turn. I was hoping that we were going to be able to play Sprayfin first before that with the Attune. Before that Will of Ionia. Well, we know Twisted Fate can do two damage to us. But if if this holds up, we'll have lethal first now. Like, so they're gonna have to have something to disrupt this, but um no. never mind, that's something to disrupt this. Alright, so I have to lead with red card. to get rid of that. Which... Which we can still kill them. We're down to two. Red card now puts me down to one. So again, all they need is... They need one of those things to do one damage. So hopefully those do no damage. Hopefully they're just two units that don't do any damage. These powder kegs have been pretty rough for me. But I still have Wave Rider, a tune. We have three more mana, Twin Disciplines plus three on the Wave Rider to do seven for lethal. Because if they go Fate Red card, then these are dead. No, another never. Powder Keg? So I respect you, Captain. All right, so I guess, so I have to just attack right now and go and go the plus three and just Red hope they don't have removal. Yeah, I have to I have to just just do that. I have to just go out. Yeah, I don't have another option. Um no. So just got to hope that this other card in hand is also a unit and not a spell. I mean, I, I could challenge this. It doesn't doesn't really matter. This is just the game. Yeah, but I, I can't play Swift Slippery Wave Rider. It doesn't really matter which one I put it on, because this is just the game. Alright. So if I play Sl Slippery Wave Rider, then they play Twisted Fate Red Card and kill me with two damage. Because I'm at two life. Alright, 
All right, so good Twin Disciplines draw. Super close game, very interesting game. There, especially at the end, a bunch of uh, interesting back and forth, for sure. And we got there. Yeah, good game there. Good game. <laughs> yeah, just just jumped in there. That was that was a real interesting one. All right, so our deck's two and zero. Oh. Slippery Wave Rider got him. So most likely Championless Undying. That deck again has a lot of vulnerable. Vulnerable, not good for us. Uh, I should probably be mulliganing the Jewel Protector. I don't know. I just like Jewel Protector. It's just so good. I should probably be mulliganing a five mana unit. So we definitely want to be aggressive. Lucky you. I should have looked at this. The chains, they never stop. That's how you can be good against Undying, is just outrace Undying. The Undying. Oh, yes. he does love me. I've got to get out of here. Unit. Hmm. Be quick. Should have specified better. Oh, come on, really, Twin Disciplines? Couldn't have had you last turn. I don't think I'm going to be casting these Mega Rains much. Let's have Twin Disciplines for protection. Yes, that's only vulnerable this round. So they won't draw their card. So I'm going with the Wave Rider um, because we have the attack token. If we didn't have the attack token, we'd probably go with the Protector. We're going to go with the Wave Rider. Next turn, we can go Protector on the Hatchling. And then turn set. Then the next, following turn after that, Hatchling uh, that's pumped up. Hopefully, do lots of damage. That's the plan. Yeah, they've had a solid hand. This has been exactly what their deck's trying to do. Ours has been pretty good. That's obviously rough. All right, do I have lethal next turn? So this is gonna be four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So yes, it will be 14 elusive. Damage. And I think we just hold, hope that holds up. Don't really see any reason to do anything. I could cast Mega Rain to take a little bit less damage. We'll just hold on to make it rain. This my ship. Uh, well, I'm kind of glad we held on to make it rain. We'll use it now. Block that thing. And we'll see what happens. 
Not much. Wait. We needed that one damage to them, didn't we? Because we're doing 14, aren't we? 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Yeah, we are, we're doing 14. Oh, man, that was clutch. That one damage to them. So there, the Undying gets obliterated. That's kind of cool. 14. Come on, let's go. All units in hand. No interaction. Yeah, obliterate those. I guess I can't cast those right now anyway. Okay. Fourteen. G G's. The elusives get there again. No, don't give them absorb soul. What are you trying to do? Give them a absorb soul. <laughs> Don't do that. All right. We are 3 and 0. Oh. Barely went in. What have you been doing, Harvey? You been having fun today? Jeez. All right, this will be interesting. The Ezreal deck. We'll get rid of Will of Ionia. We'll keep these. Cool. We'll go Cutthroat turn one. Save Blade Scout for after duo. You know, just save save Blade Scout for when it'll still be elusive. Our hand's kind of weak to Static Shock. By kind of, I mean extremely. Do I possibly play just play Blade Scout and not play Green Glade Duo because of Static Shock? And Vile Feast, all that kind of stuff. Like they're just gonna kill Green Glade Duo. So maybe I just don't let Green Glade Duo die by not playing it. Can't kill my duo if I don't play it. Maybe we'll draw our jewel protector to pump it up. Kill the jewel. The, sorry, can't kill the green glade duo. I don't play it. I wish Static Shock wasn't a card. I should have, maybe I should have mulliganed a little differently because of Static Shock. The here's with me. Cool. I will trade Green Glade, Green Glade Duo for Gotcha. That's, that's good. That's not just incidental damage. And that means no Static Shock in hand, right? Like, if they had Static Shock in hand, they wouldn't be doing that. Okay, good. We got some protection. Mana for 
Static Shock that turn, but I also wasn't attacking that turn. They could just go to the next turn and save their three mana and then Static Shock. Ooh, Deny is good in this the matchup. A big place. Let's see all of it. So this is a good Deny matchup. Alright, so this is kind of messy. If I... If I play Greenglade Duo, then they go to attacks and all this stuff happens, and I have to kind of like worry about all of this. So we're going to... Till after they attack and do stuff with Ezreal before we play anything. If we go to the next turn, then we go to the next turn. They'll never see me coming. Full speed ahead. Down from the trees. You won't feel it at first. Nothing but one health units. I don't miss. That's not been very good. Uh, uh, uh. Kind of have to block, otherwise they get the free Mystic Shot that just gives them an Ezreal level up and everything like that. So I kind of have to block. Three cards left. Without a sound. In order. <laughs> so obviously we could gold card kill Ezreal. But like if they had the attack token, if they had the attack token, we'd do that. We have the attack token. I'm gonna be doing this. Ow. Probably going blue card. Ooh. Powder keg red card. One card in hand, huh? Sounds dangerous. I'm in. I'm not gonna let them play this mystic shot to target either of these. Last card is not something that targets. But of course it is. Dang. Just the best possible thing, too. Just the best possible thing. All right, so likely lethal. Never lost a fair game. Or played one. Yeah, like so we're down to we're at two life right now. All they have to do is draw one other spell, and then we lose.
GG's. I wish, wish I would have gone the Twisted Fate gold card, ex you know, especially knowing the rest of their hand, not Rekindler and stuff like that, the rest of their hand being that. Like, definitely wish I would have just gone Twisted Fate gold card. Cutthroats have been really weak. I wonder if we need more dual protector. More power. Alright, too many small units in that matchup. I should have mulliganed. I think I should have mulliganed some more of the small units than what I did. Look for like our spray fins and our wave riders and things like that that don't just die super easily. Excuse you! You're between me and glory. See that coming. Just need a gold card. If I would a gold card that could have been completely different. Not really completely different, to be honest. We just would not have been dead. But they would have had the four threes that I would not have really been able to deal with. Another good game though. Played a lot of good games with these and these four. Lots of good games. Yeah, Pool Shark would definitely be hit or miss. I mean, Pool Shark would be a good thing to pick up with Conspirator. The card we haven't seen yet. Um, our 1 1 Fearsome has looked kind of. Um, Has looked pretty suspect, but we need you need the one drops with Navori Conspirator. Unfortunately, this time we didn't find a one drop. I was looking, you know, I was trying to I mulliganed everything looking for a one drop to be able to play with Navori Conspirator. Will we find one here? Give us a one drop. No. Super slow playing. These old eyes still see far you know, two drop, pick up two drop. That's pretty slow. One drop. Okay, another duo. Alright, so they definitely have removal for one of these Green Glade duos. So, Hang on, one of these Green Glade duos is absolutely dead. We'll just kind of find out how they're going to kill it. Maybe Calling Strike. It may be the 5 1 Challenger. Sharpen the blade, secure the kill. For glory, you are mine. Safeguard our homes. So I like that attune. We get our extra mana for the twin disciplines. A true Felyorian welcome. Through the coral. I'm gonna save Mega Rain. We can go red card to clear up all this stuff. I don't know if that's good, honestly. Because that does draw them a card. That, that could draw them into the 1 mana 5 5, and then they get to play the 1 mana 5 5. That would be a huge mess. Man, 
man, the Oregon Spiritor just looks so bad here. I just uh, I wish it was just regular two mana two two. We could play. I'm always up for a round or two. What? I'm just gonna gold car to keep this thing from attacking. I don't want them to draw that card. Okay, we got the one drop. So now... One, two, three. One, two, three. Eyes up here. Surprise there. Got these things in play. You know, basically make some three mana two twos. Pain is nothing. Oh, I wish I could bounce that now. That's okay. That's okay. Hey there. Don't mind the night. For the homestead. All right, no five five. Don't have to worry about dying to Fury of the North. If they would have challenged the other way, I would have to worry about dying to Fury of the North. Like a fish in water. <laughs> twin Disciplines? Alright, cool. Got triple Twin Disciplines. Alright. So this isn't lethal. Puts him down to one. I have two Mega Rains in hand. I have this one and the Spray Fin Mega Rain. I just don't want to really do the Twin Discipline stuff before they do Frostbite, if that makes sense. There we go. So I was basically, I accepted that if they didn't use any Frostbite and just went to one, that I had the two Maker Reigns and that one, one of the two Maker Reigns would kill them. Because like if I go like the plus three, plus zero, then it forces them to do Frostbite stuff. So like let's say I put it on the one, one, and I go plus three, plus zero, make that a four, one. Then they go Harsh Winds, and now that four damage and another two damage is gone. And now I'm only doing six. And so then I have to have two more 
so then to get back to having lethal, I have to do like two more of um, those things. And so basically, I just thought it was better just to wait. All right, cool. 4 1 with a bunch of close games, all sorts of super close games. For sure, this was. Uh, but it, it worked out pretty well. This was pretty good. There wasn't any card in here I didn't like. You know, you you need the one drop with Conspirator, but we saw once we have the one drop, then it, then it's good being able to to pick the one drops back up. Um, I guess I'm not sure about Solitary Monk. Honestly, now with the Solitary Monk nerf, I don't know. It wasn't really something that I loved that much. I could see maybe another jewel protector instead of the solitary monk, but obviously you have to be worried about you gotta be worried about your curve. Jewel protector is just so good with these elusives, giving them plus three, plus three. Um, it's just pretty awesome. And especially with just these cheap, you know, we have uh, if you count the blade scouts, we have two one mana and two two mana elusives. So we have a whole lot of super cheap elusives. But even putting it on Sprayfin, Wave Rider. Hatchling, you know, we saw that with the Hatchling. Putting on any of those is good. I think I would rather have a second Jewel Protector than the Solitary Monk. I think I'd probably change that. Um, even with the curves. It's just... It's a good 4-4 four, four blocker for you. And then the plus 3, plus 3. And the plus 3, plus 3 is great with Zed. It's great there, too. We didn't really do anything with Zed. Uh, you know, we never had, like, a turn 3 Zed in any of these games so that that's a good showing that like we we won all those even with never having one of our champions you know, never having like our um champion that's one of the best three mana cards yeah petty officer is definitely better than concussive palm concussive palm i don't know four mana i think it's just better with the curve of just getting petty officer that you get two you know you get two bodies for three mana i like that more and it, it fits like, four mana is going to be an important spot where you got, like, the, your Twisted Fate, Zap Spray Fin, that kind of stuff. Um, it fits here nicely, like, with, with Zed as our things to do on turn three. Um, Petty Officer with the two bodies is really good with Green Glade Duo, right? Like, if you have turn two Green Glade Duo, then turn three, if you have the attack token, you have Petty Officer, get two bodies. That's good there. And then it, it's kind of hard to block two bodies right away on turn three anyway like petty officer is a good aggressive card on turn three so it fits with the deck and then also you have powder kegs where sometimes you need powder keg with make it rain or with twisted fate that you also have that option um so yeah petty officer is very good uh do you think with hatchling shadow could be here or what is shadow I don't know what that means. Uh, what? Silent Shadow Seer? Maybe that one? Is that what you mean? Or Shadow Assassin? Hey, Xavier Prime. Shadow Assassin. Um, no. I mean, I think Petty Officer is probably better than Shadow Assassin. It's unfortunate, but Shadow Assassin is just too weak with one power that just doesn't do enough damage. They nerfed that card so much if i feel like if they wanted to nerf this card but still have it be playable they should have made it a 2-1 a 2-1 would at least be playable a 1-2 is, is just not playable i honestly just don't think it's playable all right but there we go so that's zed's fate uh those y'all watching later on youtube hit that like button over there and uh, feel free to leave those comments also if you try out this elusive deck, let me know how it goes for you. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.